welcome beautiful souls of the light to another important global gathering as we are right on the precipice of an incredible sacred moment for the globe and that of course is this weekend's solar eclipse in around about 60 hours from now we will experience a new moon followed by the moon obscuring the face of the sun, revealing the outer shimmery layer of our solar disk, the ring of fire. Won't we? My feline is here with me today and she'll probably be purring right throughout the live, which is wonderful sound healing. If you're in North America, right down through South America, you might be lucky enough to see this magnificent solar eclipse. If you visit timeanddate.com you can see if it's visible where you are. But it doesn't matter where we live because we're all feeling it within. Every cell of our being right now is vibrating at a higher frequency. And high vibration and low vibration are two aspects of your reality that are certainly calling for your attention and focus right now. Last week I spoke about that waiting room effect that's happening in our lives and it could well feel that you have been in a waiting room over the last week. You've done a lot of your inner work, a lot of your personal development over the last four to five months and now you're just ready for the next steps. You're ready to step into that new life room that you often hear me speak about at the eclipses. And that's what it's like. We're all gathering together and we're about to step into a new life experience. And that happens just after the eclipse closes and we then begin two weeks. The eclipse doorway of opportunity, it's a portal in between eclipses where every experience in your life becomes magnified. And that's why it's so important to be aware of what's about to take place. Because if you choose to get swayed by the negativity and drama that will certainly be whipped up around you, then that's what you'll create more of. Uh, if you choose to perhaps experience that but not get weighed down by it, which we'll speak about in a moment, then you're on a higher vibration wavelength and then you're the master of your reality and you're creating the lifestyle that you desire to lead and it becomes amplified during that two week doorway. So just imagine after the eclipse this weekend, everything will go quiet and still and you may wonder, well, what's next? What's next is the doorway opens. It's an etheric doorway. And when we step into a new room, in a new experience, in the beginning we're uncertain because we're heading into the unknown. It can feel dark. It's like moving into a dark room at first. You've got to acclimatize to it until then you start to see and feel the light all around you. It takes a little moment for your senses to acclimatize. That's what it will feel like for at least 24 hours or so after the eclipse. But come Monday to Tuesday, then it will start to accelerate and you'll notice it pretty quickly. And this is where you need to be on the ball. Now, I've written about all of these experiences in the Eclipse Guide. So if you are a member of the Tip Off Global Energy Forecast, print it out like I've done or keep it open, open on your device so you can follow through each week and know what to focus on and give your attention to. It really is important to have a navigating map at the moment as we head into the next two to three weeks of life changes. You will be asked to be in your authenticity and to be considered, to make considered choices in your life. That means to use your awareness. There will be situations arising in your life over the next two weeks where you have a choice to either focus on the drama or focus on the higher elevated life path that you desire to lead. 
you can be in both. You can have your feet firmly planted in the physical and in the ground while your head is up in the stars, your heart is evolving on a soul level and you are in both worlds at once. It takes practice, but that's what this period is for. Practice your new lifestyle. With the new moon, new beginnings are amplified. So this week coming up is perfect for new routines, new regimes in your life. If that's nutrition, if that's exercise, if that's speaking more eloquently, if that is pausing before you act, if that is applying your spiritual knowing in your daily life. Whatever it is for you, we'll all have something different that we really want to work on. This is the time to do it. Important to know that too, isn't it? This is the time to do it. This is the time to act. We will be certainly reminded of the mortality of our human life, as well as the infinity of our spiritual life. The, those two poles of the one whole, of the, of the all that is. We are beings of light having physical experiences and fifth dimensional consciousness involves you knowing that in your everyday life and acting like that. So you can't go acting like you used to before you woke up to who you were as a spiritual being, unconscious in other words. You must act from your soul basis, head and heart, as one when interacting with those of a lower awareness meaning they haven't yet woken up to their spiritual reality and that's millions of people all over the globe tens and hundreds of millions we're all at different levels of understanding of our path of knowing the eclipse will just bring it all up and it will help you put back into alignment that which is out of alignment really will now you've done your work, your task now is to step back over the next few days and let it all happen and then come that eclipse doorway which opens just after the eclipse, that's when we start treading in a new life room, applying our soul maturity, our wisdom and our consideration. Choose wisely what you get involved with over the next two weeks. This world is amazing and there are infinite ways of interacting with it. Be the example in your life. If there is anything happening in your life or around the lives of those you love or society as a whole that you're uh, not happy with and there's certainly cause for that at present, rather than focusing on that, focus on what you can do and what you can be to show and lead the way as an example of considered higher consciousness living. That will help all of us, all of us, greatly, because we are all connected. And we feel it when you rise, and we feel it when you fall. So if you fall, pick yourself up, you can do it, and then rise again, and then you'll have that experience at hand. Be considered over the coming two weeks. That's a core message within all of this, and practice, practice, practice. I'll be with you each day, in the tip off of course here on the socials and watch this video more than once particularly if you need to realign back into the light and know that all is well for indeed it is beautiful souls of the light all is well I love you thank you for being here thank you for your light and for your dedication to your path and purpose and know that you're never alone we're all here with you we're all moving through with you into that new life room. Enjoy this incredible solar eclipse. And as always, I'll speak with you again very soon.